Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Um, this is actually a second take, to be honest, because the first take was something me thinking randomly, and during that video, I actually came up with something way more direct to talk about. The title of this video. Fear, the approach of fear. Or my approach of fear. Now, I have claimed multiple times in the past that I don't really, I'm not really afraid of anything. Constantly, not in reality, I will admit that that's technically not true, but the fear I do have is something that doesn't happen often, but can still happen without notice. However, what exactly is it like to overcome fear. Can you actually overcome fear? No. The fear is always going to be there. However, there's a reason the term is overcome. It's because of the fact that you, it, it, overcome is the best word for it, but overpower is probably the better word to describe what it's trying to aim towards. You can never get rid of a fear. However, you can bypass it after a while. It's hard for some people, but it is possible. For example, a while ago when I was much younger, I used to be afraid of the dark, a very common childlike fear. Eventually, I grew used to it. In my mind, I wasn't afraid of it anymore. But that is technically not true. Once you're afraid of something, you're always afraid of it. It's more the factor that you grow used to it. And it, does, it just doesn't bother you. You're still afraid of it. You just don't look at it as, you don't look at that fear and you take a different approach to it. More accurate current example that I can use would be current me today. My current one fear is the fear of losing someone. I used to let this bother me a lot. But recently, especially after marrying Pink Fox, um, that fear more, it was still there. However, I had a better approach to it. Rather than thinking, oh, who's going to do it next to me? I thought, I'm still afraid of it, but here are the reasons why it's not going to happen. My parents are a very, very good example of this. There have come times in my distant past where I'd be afraid I'd lose my family members to blank reason, whatever it might be. Uh, most of the time it was some kind of sickness and my mind would over exaggerate things putting me in that fear place in reality it wouldn't really make much sense if I explained it um, so I'm not going to but the idea of it is just that because of these medical factors I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to be around them anymore I wouldn't be seeing them or I'd lose them so random stuff like that but over time I came to notice that I could lay out the reasons why it wouldn't be the case. For example, my mom has ex extreme back pains every summer. It's where I get it. I don't have it as bad, but she's gotten it to the point where she literally can't get up off her bed. And that kind of thing worried me to that degree. It has in the past. However, phone's going off. That's not it. Um, However, there, no, I can't hear it. What I was going to say is that under that front, I lined out the reasons why losing her wasn't really logically there. One, they're back pains, but they're caused by too much strain. Not a heart attack, 
not a seizure, extreme seizure where you can actually throw up in your own mouth and choke, like unfortunately some many individuals who have been known to do that. Um, it's not a stroke. It's nothing like that. It's just extreme back pressure. I told myself that. I was like, you know what? Yeah. The fear was still there, but it was overpowered by logic and reasoning why that fear was wrong. Fear is always, the fear is always wrong in some kind of aspect. Take some people who are afraid of heights. They're afraid that some of them, not all of them, but some of them are afraid of heights because they're afraid they're going to fall to their doom. But let's put it this way. This is the reason why some people don't go on roller coasters. So let's take roller coasters, for example. Someone says, I'm not going to go on the roller coaster because I'm afraid of heights. What do you say in response to, what do they say in response to overcome their own fear on that front? There are seat belts. They tighten them very tightly. So if something gets stuck and we're upside down, I will be hanging from my legs, but I will not fall. I'll get lightheaded, sure. But that's about it. That's like your worst case scenario nowadays, as long as the place is built well. And a lot of places who a lot of people go to are. That's a prime example of kind of what I'm referring to. Use logic to destroy fear. But not a lot of people do that. Because a lot of people think in a depressive or anxiety type mindset when they do get afraid. Which is natural. However, it makes it difficult. Anyway, I'm not going to go too much more on a tangent. I have to take care of the two days of uploads that I've tried to get ready. So, I'm going to head off. Thanks for tuning in for this video, guys. Uh, if you liked it or agree with anything I said, make sure to let us know in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, give it a like. I don't want to really push forward because this is as far as I can reach. And I'm meh. Anyway... Um, if you really like the video, though, consider subscribing to the channel. As of this recording, we for surpassed 4K. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, and we're heading our way closer to 5K. So, once again, if you have not yet and you like this kind of stuff, yeah, please consider subscribing. Um, one vlog goes up every day alongside a gaming video of sorts. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Click links on the side of my head for things you may enjoy whether it's the rest of the playlist, kind of like this discussion and rant, or a video that you may enjoy that YouTube may recommend. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye for now.